For this third excursion into Get the Picture series, we shall deal with sunrises. And of course, much of what we say about sunrises applies equally to sunsets. When I ran the photographic holidays, there were two problems amongst the students. One was flare, and the second was colour intensity. Very often, the colours looked too washed out. For our location, for sunrises, we're going to choose Lulworth Cove on the Dorset coast in the south of England. And of course, come early in the morning, then you're likely to have the place to yourself, which you won't, of course, later in the day. What you see on the screen is the JPEG post-production copy. Originally, it was saved to RAW. That gives me more flexibility in post-production. And for that, I use Adobe Lightroom. Let's have a look at the camera settings now. There are three important facts. First of all, I underexpose by two-thirds of a stop. See the EV minus 0.7. Secondly, I spot meter. Here's the arrow where I spot metered from. An electronic finder will give you better guidance on how to do this. And thirdly, I stop down. I use a small aperture, F16, uh, using aperture priority. Now, I know the problem here could be diffraction. But if you use a larger aperture, then you can get unacceptable flare, particularly with a zoom lens. If you have access to a prime lens, then that will work better at larger apertures, thus avoiding diffraction. This now on the screen is the unaltered raw image. And as I said a moment ago, I'm using Adobe Lightroom for post-production work. I appreciate that there are many other excellent products on the market. The first thing I do is to change the profile to landscape. This gives the colours just a bit, little bit more punch, not too much. Then I take the highlights and the whites right down. Now we can see the sun more clearly, but the surrounding landscape is a little bit dark, so I increase shadows and blacks to compensate. Also, it helps if I increase the exposure just a little bit and add a bit of contrast. Now, to get the colour absolutely right, as I remember it, I change the white balance to shade. There, I think that is much better. Add a bit of clarity, not too much incidentally, and vibrance, and we are ready. We are more or less complete. We can now import it into Adobe Photoshop, where I will do other adjustments which I can't do in Lightroom, and that's just about it. So, to conclude, here are a few more images taken on that memorable morning, which I hope you enjoy viewing.